Okay, so here's a quick story about November 713. We got stranded on Block Island on September 19th into the 20th. And the issue was that when we were departing, uh, when we did the engine startup, fuel pump two would not engage and the LED light for fuel pump number two would not illuminate. So right away, knowing the schematics sort of in my mind, um, that to me sounded like it was a switch problem, not necessarily a fuel pump problem. So I did a little investigating now that we're back at the hangar and here's sort of what I found. Here's the ES 6000, well, I was gonna say 6009, it's not 60009. This is the HIC connector module, which is behind the co-pilot screen mounted uh, on the bottom of the instrument panel there. So the issue was this connector right here. And inside this connector, you'll see lines for fuel pump one, fuel pump two, goes out to the two switches. Now the issue that I experienced is that this connector here, although it snapped in place, uh, it, it's sort of loose. And um, this might be a van's design thing that they might need to look at because as far as Rotax goes, their system over here on this side is kind of redundant. Both of these connectors, connector A and B, would need to pop out to disengage both of the fuel pumps. You see here on the A connector, you have fuel pump one and the ground for it. And down here you have fuel pump two and the ground for that one. Um, the likelihood of both of these popping out at the same time, probably not likely. Um, chances of this popping out on its own, again, if it's latched in place, not likely, but uh, as we'll see here, I can demonstrate what's going on. Uh, so right now we have, and of course you don't hear the fuel pump running right now, there's nothing running, but, down here we have fuel pump number one engaged. So if I go back here and here's the connector that we're talking about, this rectangular one with eight pins. If we move this slightly, hopefully you can hear that fuel pump. Let's see. Oh, there we go, that's it. And now back there, you can hear that pump running. If I let go, it still runs. But if I tap it a little bit, oh, there we go. Now the fuel pump stopped. Although that light is still engaged. So there's some uh, issue, and, and I think right now, when that light is engaged but it's not running, that means that the ground wire is connected from here all the way down to here, which makes that light illuminate, um, but the positive pin is not connected. Uh, and sometimes if you jiggle it a little bit differently, sometimes you can get the light to go out um, and also the pump to go out at the same time. So I'm not sure if the problem is my connector or the PCB board. Uh, I think I'm gonna just order a new PCB board. That seems like the, the quickest thing to replace. Uh, it's just, just held in place by four screws. Um, but I think maybe Vans should take a look at separating this connector into two different connectors just for redundancy and to extend the redundancy that, that Rotex had built into their design. So I think that's my, that was my issue. And I'm glad I was able to focus in on it pretty quickly. And like I said, even when I was out on the island, I kind of had an idea that it might be this connector here. So, uh, so that's the story. And if you're ever in Rhode Island or up in the Northeast, Block Island is a fantastic place to go to. Even if you just spend one night there, there's tons of uh, scenery and, and places to drive around with little scooters and everything else. So thanks a lot.